What's up everyone? I'm back with another video for you. Today I uh, just want to show you this first off. So I've got this Machamp with the uh, the Galaxy Cosmo background as you can see. And these are packaged with this Pikachu coin that's all also holographic but it has the, uh, the star pattern. And uh, so today I actually want to hunt for a couple more of these Machamps in particular. And the way to do that <clears throat> is to open a couple of these. So this is a two player uh, CD starter set, um, not to be confused with the non-CD version that has Machamp as well. It looks totally different, but uh, similar name. So this came out around the time that Base Set 2 came out, uh, which was the year 2000. So one year after Pokemon originally came out in the United States. And uh, Base Set was so popular that they decided to do it again. So they made Base Set 2 and Took some Pokemon from Jungle and Base and, uh, you know, basically did a redo of the set. And this is a redo of the starter box. So uh, the difference is, though, that the Machamp in this uh, is never going to be shadowless, obviously. But it has a chance to have this Cosmos pattern right here that you see, which is like the Japanese style pattern for the Hollow. Uh, the, the regular pattern actually is the same as the one you see there on the Pikachu. So. This box could have either uh, for the Machamp. So we're just gonna open a couple of them and uh, and see how it goes, see what we find. Uh, I'm hoping we get the Cosmos pattern, obviously, for the Machamp, but if we don't and we get the regular star line, that's cool too. Uh, I really don't mind. Sorry for the saran wrap noise, it's probably horrible. All right, here we go. Sorry to all the sealed product collectors. This is probably not very fun to watch for you. But it's uh, a nice box, very crisp. I think I'll just set that aside right there. So it comes with the CD. What's a CD? Some people are probably asking. Ha ha ha. Um, yeah, essentially now it's mostly just a paperweight. Uh, and then here we go. Oh, very cool. So the first one does have a Cosmos my, my favorite. style Machamp. You can see the... It's right on the front. Boom. Looks great. Very cool. And the Pikachu's right there looking good too. Sometimes these coins don't come out. You know, the edges sometimes can get a little chewed up. Uh, or the hollow just doesn't look great. This one actually looks really good, so I'm, I'm really happy about it. So let's just open it up and see what's inside these. Uh, we're already through the looking glass, so might as well go all the way. So there we go. So as you can see, this is how this Machamp was sold to me, the one on the left. This is similar. They just somehow package it together. They put another layer on top and get the coin in there with it. Um, cool though. All right, let's, let's go right to these. These cards here are uh, just going to be base at two cards. It's basically just some trainers, commons, uncommons, and a bunch of energy. Unfortunately, a lot of it is energy. But uh, people don't usually buy these anymore for these cards. We'll just go through them and look at them. Got Pokedex, Switch, Energy Removals, Meowths, Doduos, Diglets. Uh, the old starter set, so some of them could have a Diglet. Uh, obviously, this is base set too, but the regular base set starter. You can get a, dig, a Diglett with a sideways uh, fighting energy for the attack dig. And I have a couple of them actually, so you'll probably see them in a future video. Bunch of energy. <clears throat> energy is boring. Oh, my voice is cracking like I'm 12 again. These cards really bring me back. All right, let's get in here. I'm not quite as gentle with these because to be honest, they're just bulk. Gust of Wind, Bill, Pokeball, Pokeball, Dratini, Seal, Staryu, Seeking, Goldeen, and some energies. So it basically gives you two separate little decks. You can play against each other, which is actually really cool. Um, I think they sold for about, I want to say as low as 15, 12 or $15 when these first came out. Definitely 20 bucks. They were probably available for a long time for $20. Uh, now, uh, they're worth about 50, 60 bucks each. So, uh, let's just crack one more open real quick and, uh, see what we get. A lot of these came from the same seller. They're in really good shape too. I'm almost, 
sad to open them. They still have the hanger tag and everything, and it's really just perfect. So, luckily I'm not opening all the ones that I bought, but I do want to get the Machamps graded. And I've never sent coins to PSA, but I think I want to try sending the coins to PSA and just see what happens. I've never graded a coin. Uh, but these ones do look really nice. And Pikachu is very popular, so probably worth getting graded. Another very nice minty box. Almost a shame to open it, but wow. This thing was sitting sealed for 20 years, and here I am. Oh, excellent. excellent! First thing on the front, boom, Cosmos Machamp. You know, we're actually, <clears throat> we're either really lucky or this seller got them all from like the same batch and uh, we just are lucky in the fact that they all happen to be Cosmos because I opened one of these a couple days ago off camera and it was one of these same starter sets, different seller, but it didn't have the, the Cosmos Machamp, it had the regular one. So, um, this is, this is really great. Cool, let's just dive right in, and then uh, I'm just gonna skip the regular cards here and go right to the Machamp and the coin. Let's just open those up. Come on, there we go. All this plastic drives me nuts. I'll try to be careful, but I'm impatient. Oh, the coin fell right there. People are probably screaming at me. Okay, let's just take a look at the coin. It fell out right here. It should be fine though. Wow, that's so nice. Let me see if I can get a nice angle on it for you. Oh, there we go. Wow, so cool. All right. Um, well, I'm actually gonna, oddly enough, put that in a sleeve. Some sleeves right here. I don't really have anything else to put it in, so I might as well just sleeve it up like anything else. So at least it's protected for now. Cool, right on. Got a nice Pikachu. Let me get it a little closer for you guys. Not the greatest lighting. There we go. There it is, cool. Okay, uh, let's actually, let's open the Machamp itself and take a look. Uh, let's actually take a look before we open it, because if there's something wrong with it, I may not even want to open it. But the back looks really good. The front looks great. I mean, it's a little off-center left to right, but I'm not sure it's enough to actually dock it a grade. So we will just roll the dice on it. There we go. Wow, that one's got a really cool pattern. It doesn't have a big globe or, or a swirl, but it's got a lot of other stuff going on. A lot of splattery, sprackly stuff. Excellent. Okay, let's sleeve you up. Be real careful so I don't scrape. So I, I don't usually explain this to people actually, but when I put cards in sleeves, specifically Pokemon, I'll hold the edge of the sleeve and kind of pinch it. And I don't know if you can see this, but it makes it so there's a little gap. Well, it's not doing it correctly, now it is. A little gap like you see on the bottom, but above. So that the hollow actually doesn't touch the edge of the sleeve when I slide it in. <coughs> but uh... So it'll, it'll save you on the chance of potentially scratching the hollow on the way through. That's how sensitive these hollow patterns are. It really can happen very easily. All right, so let's go to the next Machamp. I think this one looks just as good. Uh, if not better, the back looks perfect. The front looks pretty much as perfect as I can expect it to look. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. So let's just bust it open. Go. 
It does have a faint print line on the bottom and the top right there. Uh, let's see if I can catch it on the camera. Yep, there you go. You can see them now. The top one's a little more prominent. <clears throat> However, the bottom one actually goes all the way across. You can, you can only barely see it on the right, but it's there. It's on the left, right at the knee level. Uh, otherwise, a beautiful card. Uh, to be honest, I have seen cards with print lines similar to that get a 10. But obviously... You know, certain graders are not going to give it a 10 because they're going to see that and instantly think it's an imperfection, which it technically is. The back looks really good. Pretty much perfect. Uh, again, the front looks great. It's just those little print lines there. So I would expect this one to get a 9 if I got it graded, which I am very likely getting it graded. Um, the other one, I think, is 10 worthy. There we go. I got that, that one there and this one here. And actually, I have another one to open. It's that, that one I showed you at the very beginning. So let's open that and just get that third one out. The one that we didn't take from the box today. And let's just... Oop. That was... Uh, that was not cool. All right. Car's got a slight curve to it. <clears throat> Shouldn't be hard to sort of finesse that out of the card. Uh, it does look really good though. Hollow doesn't excite me quite as much as the other ones, but it still looks really good. I, I would expect this one to get a nine just because It's got a little bit of scratching on the hollow. It's really hard to see though. I'm not sure I can get it in the light. Oh, there you go. I think that's a little too much to get a 10. There it goes. So uh, yeah, I have a couple more of these actually. I don't plan on opening them today, but uh, if I do open them, I will likely make another video. Let me know if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. I know this isn't really high priced items to open, but this kind of stuff I do open pretty frequently because I like to get cards graded. Uh, it kind of just, you know, ensures the value, kind of creates more of a finished product in my eyes. So uh, you'll definitely see more of this. Let me know what you think though. Leave a comment, uh, leave a like or dislike uh, and uh, subscribe if you want. And I'll see y'all in the next video. All right, peace.